Okay. Wait, can you give us the first letter? Yeah, give us the first Tell me something you know about the triangle that's currently on the screen. It's not right. It, it, kind of looks like an, uh, it has triangle. three sides. It's not right. Okay. It kind of looks like a, an angel fish. It looks like an angel fish. It looks like all three sides. And all three angles are the same, yes? What's the word for that? Well, the, the sides being the same means the sides are congruent to each other. What's the word for a triangle that has all three sides the same? Mrs. Yorg, what? what is it? Equilateral. Equilateral triangle? Maybe if you guys said E, No, but I heard me say that. Nobody heard you say it. So, so, and if all three angles are the same, y'all, what does that make them? There's definitely not a D in it. The same angle. Wait, the same side. How many degrees is each one of these angles? 60. 60. Is that pretty good? So this is 60 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. All right. All right. And um, if all three sides are the same, can I just pick a number for it? I'm going to. This is going to be one, this is going to be one, and this is going to be one. Okay. Now. You will notice that the title of today's notes is Special Right Triangles. Is this a right triangle? No. No. Can I draw in the altitude and make it two right triangles? Which, by the way, would be congruent to each other, and they are a special kind of right triangle we call a 30-60-90 triangle. Wait, I did oh. so. All right. No, you know you heard me say that. Now, looking at this, do we know anything else? Okay. Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah. So the side lengths for the um, ninety, the whatever, thirty, ninety, sixty, that angle. Nice. Okay, so we know that this distance would have to be one half, yes? Are you guys comfortable with that? Yeah. This last one, because we remember that pattern, is root 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. You're essentially, you just take this one times the square root of 3. Now, wait a minute. Are we all comfortable with square root 3 over 2 being longer than 1 half? Yeah. You believe that the square root of 3 is bigger than yes. 1? Yes. Yeah. And notice it's across from the bigger angle. So we can always remember that the bigger one is across from the 60. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, from this, I think we can draw two different triangles, okay? This is gonna feel a little bit weird. We could draw this one. Or this one. Sort of. They're, they're or, the same triangle. They're just oriented in two different ways. Okay? There's one more thing I need us to do. This one you guys are going to be irritated with. But usually causing you guys some form of irritation makes me happy, so... 
Guys, how many radians is 30 degrees? Oh, I love this question. One. We talk about radians. How many radians are in a circle? One, two, zero, two, two, two pi. Yes. Okay. So, are we kind of use this like pi over one eighty equals how many over thirty? Is everybody okay with that? Except for we don't multi we leave our radian measurements in terms of pi. So instead of so you did one you did thirty times pi divided by one eighty. You just do the thirty over one eighty and call it one sixth, and we call this pi over six. So thirty degrees is equal to pi over six. Is everybody good? One one six pi. So what would that say about 60 degrees? Let's see. Are you guys with me that 60 is 2 times 30? 60 is 2 times 30, yes? yes. So what's 2 times 1 sixth? You with me? Can I just do two times pi over six? Mm. Or pi over one eighty equals x out of sixty. Huh? What's that working out to be? Wait. One six. Pi over three. So 30 degrees is the same thing as pi over 6. Huh. What about um, 90 degrees? What do you think that's going to be? Mm -hmm. Pi over 180 has to equal something out of 90. Pi over 2. Interesting. Cool. That's going to come into play a lot tomorrow. Or Wednesday or whatever. You guys don't want to. Okay. All right. Now, let's take this triangle and talk about what would that look like on the coordinate plane. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and draw this triangle in this first quadrant. that this is 30 degrees. And all I want to know, y'all, is what is the coordinate of this point right here? What do we... The x-coordinate would be this distance, yes, which is... Square root 3 over 2. And the y coordinate would be 1 half. Well, we just found that if this is 1, this is square root 3 over 2, this is 1 half, yes? So the x coordinate for this point is just that distance, yeah? Is everybody with me? But what if I didn't draw it in that quadrant? What if I drew it over here? So that this was 30 degrees. How would that change it? What's, what would be negative? The x coordinate would be negative to be in that quadrant, right? Because we're to the left of the y axis. 
What about the y-coordinate? Positive. All right. You ready for the kicker question? You are. What is this angle? Oh, it's 68. It. It's something, it's a regular. It's 31. Oh, yeah, 150, yeah. 150 degrees. It'd be 30 short of the x axis, right? 30 short of 180. Mm. Oh, what if I drew it down here? First of all, what would the angle be? Hold on. What would the coordinates be? Negative, three negative root 3 over oh, 2. Sorry. Not bad? Now I'm hmm? Now you are confused? The corner would be positive root 3 over 2, and negative, negative 1 half. And what angle would that be? Um, 330. 330. That's not bad, right? So far, anything that makes you want to jump out a window or anything? Yes. So nice outside. Okay. What's next? Something worse. No, we're not done on this page yet. Like it does. I, I see a bow tie as well. Oh, I see a tie fighter. You just have me, though. That's the most creative one. I'll take it. All right. Guys, those are all angles whose reference angle was 30 degrees. I could have also drawn reference angle of 60 degrees. Is it just the same thing? No. Are they similar? Yes. Okay, tell me, guys. No, this is just, I didn't, I wasn't smart. I actually thought I would draw, when I made the notes, I was going to put them both on the same X and Y axis, and then I thought, you know, that's going to get really confusing. Wow, uh, the smartest teacher claims that she was not smart. Well, anybody who claims they're smart probably isn't. Elon claims he's smart. Bro, Elon just bought Twitter for 44 million, but I can get it on the app for free. I don't know what it was on about. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, guys, <laughs> we're not, no, we're not going down here. We're not going down this path. Okay. All right. So guys, how would that change? Wouldn't the coordinates just be The coordinates would end up getting flip-flopped. Yes. Is everybody good? Because now the vertical distance is the bigger one, so the y coordinate's gonna be the bigger one, so that's why square root of three over two is the big one. Okay? Is is y. And then if I go ahead and do all those reflections, because that's essentially what we did. By the way, what would this angle be? This one. What would that angle be? It is 120 degrees. Mm 
And then I do that down here. This one looks more like a TIE fighter, just so you know. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, that angle's a little bit more TIE fightery. Yeah. I feel like this one looks much more like a butterfly than the other All right, what's this one? So this is another 60 degrees past 180. So just this angle is 60. So 180 plus 60 is 240. And then over here, so this will be, let's see, positive 1 half, negative square root 3 over 2. Yeah? And it would be? 300 degrees. Look at you guys. Miss Meister, how was your day today? Yeah, yes. A butterfly over there. Stop. Where is she? Okay. All right. So far, what do we think of this? It's fine? If you don't think this is, if you think this is not devastating, then I think we will be in really, really good place to do the unit circle on Wednesday, which kids sometimes find devastating. Yeah. Okay. Let's make it up, but we cut that one in half, so we had two sides. I don't just make anything up. Right. If the angle we drew right here, it's the same one. Are you guys with me? So it's going to feel like tomorrow we're going to get tons of information. We're going to basically take everything we just did and put it all into this one sheet called the unit circle. Okay? And using the unit circle, getting sine and cosine and tangent values for those special angles on the unit circle goes really fast once you have your unit circle. So we're gonna spend a lot of time building it out, but then when we do it, the practice of using sine and cosine and tangent and all that kind of stuff goes really, really quickly. Okay, you will be really good at, like you guys will be able to say, hey, Ms. Meister, what's the cosine of this? And I'll be able to answer it right away. You guys will probably use your unit circle, but I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, and the whole goal of it is just that we can get um, get this sine and cosine values really, really quickly and then start talking about sine and cosine on really big angles. Okay, and I am done. If you, for today, if you have not turned in your graded assignment, the expectation is that you are working on said graded assignment. All right. Guys, this is not a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That is a 30, 30, or 60, 60, 60. Well, this is definitely a 90 degree angle, right? Get it? You see what I did there? Get it? This is definitely 90 degrees, right? Yeah. Because it's a right angle, right? I just don't know what that is. Okay. What are these other two angles? 45. And if I asked you guys, how many radians is 45 degrees? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not alone. You'll get over that. I'm not worried about it. Pi over 4. Pi over 4. Okay, so in radians, we would call this pi over 4. And in deg degrees, we would call it 45. Cool. And what else do we know about uh, something two x something, something two x? One of the sides. 
It's not two. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the hypotenuse of this is going to be one. I have reasons for why I do that. Okay. What do we know about the other two sides? The, the, they're smaller than one. I agree with that. What else? They are the same. Do we know the number they are yet? No. I'm going to call this X and this X. Okay? On the last one, we didn't think we could just make up math. I promise you, my classes, my graduate classes would be way easier. What about it? How many pi signs do you have like a pizza box like with that up? Okay. If I applied the Pythagorean theorem to this picture, what would it look like? X squared plus X squared equals one squared. X squared plus X squared equals one squared. Stop. Okay. You're the one instigating it. I can see it. All right, now guys, if I asked you to simplify this, what are some things we could do to simplify it? One squared, one squared is one. What else? The x squareds are like terms. I can add them together, I get two x squared. Divide by two, I get x squared equals one half. Take the square root, and I get x equals and what you're going to end up with is 1 over the square root of 2, which Ms. Meister doesn't love. Because there's this stupid math rule that it used to have, meaning, have purpose, but it doesn't anymore, except for it still kind of does. We're going to multiply by this. We don't like um, square root signs in the bottom of our fractions. So we're going to go ahead and multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And what that does is on top I have the square root of 2, but on the bottom I have just 2 because, like, these work out to be the square root of 4, but I know that the square root of 4 is 2, okay? So this becomes square root 2 over 2 is, does this. So, if I draw that angle into the first quadrant, then this is 45 degrees. What's that coordinate? That's it. Hmm. Is that the same for every single one except like the negatives? Oh, I just had these dumbest questions ever. Okay. What's Why didn't we do it for the hypotenuse? Because for where we're going with this, we just we're going to assume. Are we not using it anymore? We did. Okay, so your question was, like, your picture went like this, right? You had x, x, x root 2. Yeah. Okay. And if I wanted to, if I, I could say, well, that would mean that the x root 2 has to equal 1. And then you would divide by the square root of 2 and end up right where we did here. Like, you get the same answer. I was trying to essentially get you to where this even came from. Okay. Hey, guys. What's that angle? Hundred and thirty-five degrees. Hold on. If I would do this in the third quadrant, 
This becomes negative square root 2 over 2 and negative square root 2 over 2. Not bad? Not bad at all. What's the angle? 225. What do we think? Does anything so far seem ridiculous? So what are some ways I could make this a little bit worse? We haven't really done anything with this yet, right? Yeah. We're just kind of like looking at where those triangles would be. So guys, what if I asked you, what is the sign of 315 degrees? Because that's how we're going to use this, okay? Now, sine. Do you guys remember from last week, sine is just y over r, yes? And what was our radius in this case? Nope. This, this distance, the hypotenuse distance, is my radius every time, okay? So my radius is just, you know, 1. Is everybody with me? What's the y-coordinate at 315 degrees? Negative root 2 over 2. So what's the sign of 315? Negative root 2 over 2 over 1. y over r, yeah? If I do the sine of 315, so that's really, guys, anything over 1 just kind of stays the same, right? Do me a favor. Type the sine of 315 degrees into your calculators. Sine of 315. Negative 0.707. All right, guys, do me a favor. Type negative square root 2 divided by 2. You get the same answer because that's what the sine of 315 degrees is. Is everybody with me? I totally messed that up. All right, so tomorrow, or Wednesday, you guys get. When I say tomorrow on the black days, you guys know what I mean. At our next class session, we're going to do something called the unit circle. I'm going to preview it to you right now. Then the